was okay. Okay, well, let's start this fairly, because I feel like whenever the subject is um, Halloween, the Michael Myers franchise, for starters, I'm a horror movie junkie. I grew up on Nightmare on M Street, Friday the 13th, uh, the Scream movies, even I Know What You Did Last Summer, Candyman, I, if I got to Candyman at the right time, but when it comes to Halloween and Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I got, I was late to the party. The very first Halloween movie I ever saw from start to finish was Halloween Resurrection. So when we talk Halloween and Michael Myers, um, I feel like my opinion is very different. It, I think it's has such to do because I was 13 and because the first one was Resurrection. I'm not the Michael Myers guy the same way I'm the Freddy guy, the Jason guy, the Chucky guy. I'm just not. And it's and it makes me sad because it's there's no making up for that. That sh I should have seen the first Halloween when I was 10, which is the a I 10 years old is when I first saw Chucky, when I first saw um, Nightmare on M Street. It's around when I first saw Scream. It's around when I first saw Know What You Did Last Summer. I had my horror movie awakening at 9 or 10. And that, if anyone, if any parents um, were to ask me what's my advice on the age of getting a kid started and having a balance of not too young and where they're young enough to still appreciate it, that 9, 10, I would say, I would say before 12. I feel like those preteen years and those pre-preteen years are very essential and you're not doing any for sure long-term damage, I'd say. At least that was the case with me. Except for when you leave out Michael Myers on that occasion. So see, I saw clips of the first Halloween for years, but and I was and I was curious to see the first Halloween until I saw Resurrections. Resurrections, I enjoyed it as a kid, but even then, it's like the Halloween movies I enjoy. I enjoyed them from a different perspective. I feel like why I say I would recommend horror movies for preteens or kids on the cuffs of that of like 9, 10, 11 is because then your imagination can still be taken with it. Then it's, these Halloweens are still a big deal. These horror movies, you still don't know what's a true story. Okay, well that's different now because y'all got computers everywhere now. But back in my day, when you were nine and 10 and computers weren't in your pockets as phones, you didn't know what was a true story versus was actually a movie. We we thought when uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre the remake came out, and that's what made Tex that's what brought Texas Chainsaw Massacre to my school, um, like the consciousness of my entire school. Anyway, we thought that was a true story. We thought Blair Witch was a was a true story and all that. So there's something about that age right there. And then the sad thing is because of the computers everywhere and kids having so much information to be looked at and followed and everything, maybe the magic, maybe that magic really is just gone. I don't know. But I got to Halloween too late. I got to Michael Myers too late. I am a huge, I'm a very big fan of uh, this new timeline because I can also say that's where the Halloween franchise they didn't lose me, but they didn't keep me tight enough was I did not watch them in order. I was confused at a certain point with the Halloween timelines <sighs> that that made it confusing because as we know from when you if you're a Halloween fan, it's like four or five different timelines here. And when you're like 12 and you don't have the Internet to explain all the different timelines and intricacies and whatnot, it's very confusing. Yeah, my my opinion on the Halloween franchise, the Michael Myers, because I count and my personal thing, I, Season of the Witch is its own movie. There is no Halloween 3. Season of the Witch is its own movie. That's that. I ca So I call the rest of the Halloween movies the Michael Myers movies. And so that said, me being kind of removed from um, Michael Myers Halloween fans a bit, like, I, I consider myself like a stepchild or half-sibling of the Halloween fan base. <laughs> where we like share a parent or something, but not the full deal. But um, 
I have a strong appreciation for some of the Halloweens that the fan base largely doesn't, including Rob Zombie's the first one, just 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 the first one. and um. This trilogy, the people, this most recent trilogy, the people who I see the most who don't like it seem to be of the original fan base. And it, there's nothing wrong with that. You guys, you guys got in on Michael when you were supposed to. When you're young enough, when you have, when it's brand new, not to discredit anyone's experience, but it's just not mine. I, I was wrong. Can you imagine, can you imagine, I, just like, I feel sorry for, there's people who their first Freddy Cougar movie was um, Freddy's Dead or Freddy vs. Jason, oh. or <laughs> or the remake. There's people, who, there's people whose first Freddy movie is the remake. Ooh, it's like that. It's like that. And it's that thing of you can't even be that. This, we're talking 20 years ago when I first saw Halloween Resurrection, when I was the first full start to finish Halloween movie I saw. So it's sad. We, you just got to pray for me. But anyway, this whole trilogy, I'm having a problem placing in my ranking of how much I enjoyed this more than that, more than this, more than that. But I enjoyed it. I enjoy this trilogy. Nothing else this trilogy brought a pretty stable, consistent storyline to mo this multiverse of madness. And I, I'm okay with that. And it's the same thing I had with um, the Rob Zombie remakes is that at least they brought... At, I, I'm not mad at them for doing the why. I feel like some of the strongest stuff in the Rob Zombie remake had to do with um the kid aspect of michael myers and everything but i know a lot of fans aren't a fan of that because they like not having the why i like the why's i like filmmakers giving us the why these killers are these killers I, that's just me maybe it's not you but it's me so here's my thoughts grade wise i give this movie a c plus with b minus potential time will tell if it'll be could grow into a B minus to a B or a C or just a regular C or C minus, watch it on Peacock. Watch it on Peacock. You watch it on Peacock at, from the comfort of your home. In general, I don't think I would have enjoyed this movie so much in a the theater. I have no, as, as much as I enjoyed it, I didn't like hate it. I know a lot of people hated it. I know a lot of people like it's the worst. It's one of the worst and all that. No, 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 no. For me, the worst is part six, but um, <laughs> I enjoyed it, but I enjoyed it best here at <laughs> home. So here's here's to give you an idea. If you're no spoilers, prepare yourself and to compare this to other movies of what to expect. Think Nightmare on M Street 2. Think Jason Goes to Hell and think Friday the 13th New Beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely not as scary as any of those movies the kills are on par the, the kills are better than nightmare on m street 2 it gives closure to me but it's the story and it's the characters and it's how much of some characters we get over other characters i i enjoyed it but it, i want it better i want it better it's a c with b minus a uh would be minus aspirations but it could have been an a it could have been it could, i did real and i i without a doubt i enjoyed um halloween 2018 and halloween kills more than this one i was saying in the beginning that it's hard to find a place because there's aspects of this one i like more than the and i will say that's actually what gives the new trilogy something special is there there's aspects to each of them i like better than the other two and I'm, I'm okay. I like that for, to me, that's what makes the franchise a bit well-rounded, you know? Like I said, it was okay. It is, I, it is one of the least scary of these movies, for sure. It is actually and absolutely one of the least scary. And, um, I enjoy it. I, en I enjoy it. Um, it has replay value, especially now, but, um, they took liberties. They took some liberties that I applaud them for taking liberties with the story in the first place, but for my enjoyment, I don't know about that payoff yet. Maybe I won't know until, like, next year or something, but I appreciate they took liberties, you know. They gave us something different there, and, um, they gave us closure there. They gave us closure. Like, again, no spoilers, but, um, I'm fulfilled with this set of movies and coming to an end here i'm fulfilled 
And that's worth something. That is worth something, damn it. Please be nice to me in the comments. Please be nice to me in the comments. I'll be, I'll be nice to you. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me know your rankings in the comments. How did you guys enjoy the movies without spoilers? Warnings for people who haven't seen the movie yet. Don't don't look in them comments because you. I said please don't spoil, but you know they're going to spoil all up in the comments. So careful, y'all. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, please go ahead, like, subscribe. Again, let's talk about this. Talk about it in the comments. Share it on social media. Um, if you'd like to follow me on social media, that's in the description below. Um... And hey, happy Halloween. Halloween is my favorite season of the year. So you, so you guys have a good one. And please take care of yourselves and each other.